What's up, Dupe City fam? Welcome back to the Unmagical series by Dupe City Co. In today's video, we are recreating Caribbean Resort bath salts from the Magic Candle Company using the same fragrance they do, which happens to be Coconut Craziness from Nature's Garden. You can get one ounce for $2.85. As always, I must remind you that I'm in no way affiliated with Magic Candle Company. I'm just here to show you how to recreate their products using the same exact fragrances and supplies that they use at a fraction of the cost. And all the supplies that you're going to need to recreate these products are listed in the description box below. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to be notified every time we release new Dupe City Co. Disney DIY content, which is every few days. Let's get started. All right, so we are going to begin by measuring out our three ingredients. We have Dead Sea salt, Epsom salt, and baking soda. So we're gonna put our scale on the flat surface, place the uh, pitcher or bowl on it, tear it out to zero, and we're going to measure out our two cups of Epsom salt. So instead of just putting in two cups with a kitchen measuring cup, I weighed it out to be more precise. So I did 16 ounces of Epsom salt. Following the Epsom salt, I added four ounces or one half cup of coarse dead sea salt and four ounces or one half cup of baking soda. Now we're going to give the mixture a quick stir to combine it. As I mentioned earlier, the fragrance we're using is coconut craziness fragrance oil and you can get one ounce for just $2.85. And the scent notes here for this fragrance say that the top notes are orange, peach, nectar, lemon, pineapple, and lime. The mid notes are heliotrope, gardenia, coconut, and the base notes are vanilla bean, amber, musk, caramel, buttercream, and coconut milk. There's a lot going on in here. But what you get most of all is just that coconut fragrance. You get like a toasty coconut. And we are going to be using about 15 drops. Now, I think I may have put 17 in, but that's okay. It just happened. It was not too strong, not too weak. It was really, really just the perfect amount. And now that the fragrance is in, I'm going to give it another quick stir before I add the coloring. All right, so the coloring is actually very simple. We are just going to mix two ingredients, and they are vegetable glycerin with mica powder. So to achieve a toasted coconut coloring, I used a champagne colored mica powder from Mad Micas as well as a bronze mica powder from Mad Micas. Now, I know I should have learned my lesson using the brown because of the bath bomb fiasco, but this actually turned out really, really well. I was glad that I tried it again. Because I'm making more bath salts than I typically do, for this coloring recipe, I'm going to use more of the vegetable glycerin. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna use a lot, actually, of this champagne color here. It's really pretty, it's really shiny and shimmery. And I'm only gonna use just a small amount of the bronze. I don't wanna overdo it, but I want enough of that toasty color. Now mixing the mica really took the longest, but I really wanted to make sure it was fully incorporated. And now we are going to mix this beautiful color. We're gonna drizzle it over the salts and then mix it by hand to really get in there and work with that coloring so that it mixes evenly with the salts.
have to say that I haven't mixed this color combination before and I'm actually thrilled that it's not too brown. I think it's perfect. It's very reminiscent of coconut with a few toasty pieces here and there. And the smell is truly a tropical paradise. Now it's time to weigh out our product and I'm going to put them in these 10 ounce bags here. We're going to put 8 ounce product in each bag. Now I opted not to use the same white plastic containers as Magic Candle Company. Why not? Well, because you can only beat a dead horse so long before it gets boring. Sorry, animal lovers. Now, you're not chained to using the same exact products as the Magic Candle Company. They go with what's cheapest. You do you. Now, here is what the different colored bath salts look like in these translucent bags. It's really eye-catching, really beautiful, and I'm going to link down below where you can get these yourself, and they're fairly inexpensive. As for my final thoughts on the fragrance, it's fantastic, it's tropical, it's coconutty. Is it a great scent for Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort? Probably not, but you be the judge. If you love it, you love it. I personally don't think it smells too much like the resort, but as we know, scent is subjective. So there we have it, folks. We just created Caribbean Beach Resort Coconut Craziness Bath Salts from the Magic Candle Company. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to be notified every time I release new Dupe City Co. Disney DIY content, which is every three days. And if you create one of our products, go ahead and hashtag Unmagical and tag Dupe City DIY on Instagram. Thanks for watching.